And uh, at the time, it was I never put on TV yet, and I was the main event, and I was so nervous. But I it was good nerves. It's because I'm not scared of my opponent, because I want to go out there and perform for them. When you're nervous like that, you be on your toes. You know, you you uh, you watching out for things, and you making sure everything is right. So it's good to be nervous. And totally like, alert. You know, a little totally alert, things like that. So it's good to be nervous. You said that you're not. You, you would expect that your opponent will, will try to kind of score points where he can and take right. it the distance, but you're not sure because you've expected that before and, and things differently have happened. If that does happen, do you see this as an opportunity to to prove yourself as, as a better technical fighter than maybe people give you credit for? Uh, not necessarily, you know. Uh, it's, yeah, it, it will, if he does bring the fight to me and he's winning the inside game, I will have to make an adjustment to, to, to try to box and, uh, you know, match my skills with him. But, you know, if, he, if he's, he's skillful-wise, he, he's, he's uh, I'll point me in, in, in a better skillful-wise than me. I'll have to switch it up and, and fight him as I did as very long. So it all depends, like you said, how he comes out. Um, I, would have to, I would have to bring it to the boxer and I have to box the guy if he bring it to me. So you, do you, are you a slow starter, you think, or how do you? Yeah, I would say I am a slow starter, and only because uh, in the beginning, a lot of these fighters are sharper than me, so in the beginning, you know, it shows. And, uh, you know, it takes me some time for me to break them down a little, then to wear down a little bit to get on my level. And then uh, that's when I pick it up for them. So you could be behind by points, then? Yeah, yeah, I could be behind by points, but you know it's not on purpose. It's not on purpose, it's that the way it is, you know. Yeah. Some of these fighters are sharper than That's your opportunity to see what the other person has? Okay, but that's, there you go. It's my opportunity to see what they made of, and they got it to take it to the later rounds, and uh, that's, what it's going, that's what it counts for me. Who has hit you the hardest of your opponents? Oh, definitely Eric Danny Lauer. I think it was in six or seven round, you come with the other cut, and that was the hardest punch. Combination or just the just one, one up punch? Just one punch, the one punch. And it wasn't like I was dazed the entire round, but I felt, I was like, oh. You know, the whole time in there, I, I wasn't I wouldn't screaming, oh, we're thinking that my head till like I hit with that one. Did you lose that round, you recall? Uh, I got to go back and watch it. I, I believe I did lose that round. I think I went the whole time I got caught with that one. And then I uh, shook it off and I finished strong in that round. Hey, hey, Jared, I seen earlier that you were, you know, you were taking pictures with Williams, J-Rock Williams. Yeah. Do you know how to separate that, you know, that friendship that y'all have, I seen, um, you know, to, to turn it on Saturday night? Oh, yeah, definitely, man, because I, to be honest with you, I never really had no blood, bad blood with any of my opponents. So, <laughs> I mean, you've seen about the last 23 fights, I know how to cut it off. Only guy that I really had personal issue with is Jamel Charlo, and, uh, you know, besides that, I didn't have it. I know it's not quite as quick as you wanted, but the road to unification is, is still relatively straightforward. Do you feel, you know, you talked about being 170 at one point not that long ago. Do you feel that there is a, a time limit on how long you have to, to unify it at, at this way, way Oh, level? yeah, it's definitely a time limit for sure. Uh, I don't think going into next year, I'll be fighting at this weight throughout the whole entire year. Maybe even beginning of the year, but you know, going on the summertime, I should be moving up. So, if we had to, what's the uh, what's the amount of fights you have left at 154 right now, Jared? Or I'll say I had maybe two, two or three more fights after this. One. Wow. Two or three more fights after this. One. Could you name the fights that you want right now? <laughs> that I want, man. We're not looking past J Rock. You know what I mean? But if I had my it set out for me. I will fight J Rock, uh, after J Rock, the WBC title holder, and after that, the WBO. Who are you picking in a Charlo versus Harrison fight? Uh, who knows, man? You know, at first I was I had Jamel Charlo winning, but after I saw that press conference, he don't look that confident to me. And then Tony Harrison, like, he got the, all the confidence in the world. So, how did you, I mean, what kind of demeanor did you see in Charlo in that press conference? I seen that he was. He was exactly what I said, man. You know, it, 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 he do a lot of talking, man, but you can tell that mentally he's, he's not as strong as people think he is. And Tony Harrison showed that. You know, you can get under his skin. You can get in his head. You can make him feel, you know, uh, like, like uh, you, he, 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 he got that, that mentality where you can get to him. And Tony Harrison showed that. A lot, I mean, obviously, most of the judges say that, you know, um, Person beat him to Charlo the first time. I mean, I thought that, you know, Charlo and Jamal, they said you gotta decisively beat the champion and you gotta lock him down once or twice, or whatever. Um, the rematch is coming up, I think, sometime in June. Um, do you see the fight going any other way, or do you think uh, Charlo can come in there and possibly stop Harrison? 
I think it's gonna be another close fight. And it can go either way. I think it's gonna kinda of play like the same way it did back and forth. Charlo went around, Harrison went around, and it's gonna be another close fight. I got one question. Do you have enough room for all those belts on the table? <laughs> they're gonna have to start making a lot more room for me because I got a lot more to win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, we, if we look back at the Jared Horvath 2017 and the, that Jared Horvath, what changed in you? Uh, you know, definitely I think one thing that changed about me is the people look watching me. You know, I think they see now that I'm not just this kid that had this big question mark over his head. They didn't know if he was if he did have the goods or if he didn't have the goods, I think people know now that Swift Jarrett is a true champion. That would be your defense number four. What's mean for you that? I'm sorry? You would be defending your title for, for four times. What means that for you? Oh, yeah, everything. You know, uh, you know, just, just, just especially defending it here in my hometown. This is my fourth title defense. You know, I just, I just, I just love putting on the show for the fans and uh, being in the position I am. Right now, Jared Hurd, it's looking like it's going a mini tournament going on. You know, yeah. you got the winner of, you know, you and uh, J Rock, and then the winner of, uh, you know, Harrison versus Charlo. You know, with that being said, I mean, there's a lot on the line with this one, man. You know, there's a lot on the line. You know, where do you, how serious are you for this fight? I'm um, definitely serious, man. You know, and like you said, it's a tournament going on. That's the thing. At 154, you definitely have eat, us fight each other. You know, now you're waiting for 147, 160 for them guys to step up. We just had Canelo and Jacob in unification. You know, now you're waiting for some of the guys at 147 to face each other. But it's all, it's pretty much one face and 154. You know, after these two fights, it's only going to be one face. Gonna Who's the A side at 154 out of all four fighters? Me. Of course. I'm the only undefeated fighter. I'm going to keep the hungry on Jaron Hart. Uh, so you won the title. Um, you know, that just knowing that uh, come on, this dude is around the corner. You know? That's just a, that, a goal of mine to completely wipe out the whole entire 154 division because I know it's right in my hands and that's something I try to do. Like uh, the A side you thought 154, yeah. you, you beat Tony Harris. That means you that 